Hello there, welcome to another episode of Witchfinder's Gaming Vault and I'm kicking off 2023 in this series by looking at a Master System game. It's Put and Putter. So let's take a look at the fact file for this game. Put and Putter was released in 1992 on the Master System. It's a European game published by Sega and developed by Sims Company. The price I paid for the game was £6. I actually got it as part of a bundle from a friend, so I probably got it a bit cheaper than the average price. And the current going rate for the game on eBay based on completed items recently is about £10 to £15. So those were the facts about Put and Putter. Now let's check out the game. Before I fire up the game then, let's take a look at the packaging in more detail. Typical Master System packaging with the white background with the grey grid on it. And as you can see, it says Sega Master System and unsurprisingly, based on the name of the game, it's a sports game. So there's the image for the front cover there. It's basically a very wacky looking crazy golf course with the golf ball and the 18th hole in the front there. Put and putter it says at the bottom. So moving on to the spine and again it's got put and putter in the same image in a smaller scale and also the Master System logo. And then back cover we've got again the Master System logo, lots of screenshots of the game which again you can see in game it looks very much like that image on the front cover. You can see it's got stages of three, holes 18, players one or two and you can use the control pad or control stick. It's got a description of the game in a number of languages and at the top there is the English version. The waves crash against the shore as you tee up ahead in the distance pinball bumpers, an outrageous combination of miniature golf and pinball. It's put and putter. So yeah, not a lot of information about the game there but you'd already guessed it's a crazy golf kind of game. So there's a quick look at the cartridge. It looks like all Master System cartridges. There are a few that have got a different sticker on them, but most of them have got this kind of maroon coloured sticker with the name of the game printed on it. So let's just stick that into the machine now and get that out of the way. So let's take a look at the instruction manual and uh, it's got put and putter on the front of it, as you'd expect uh, with, well, not really a golf course thing there. Oh, there's a guy playing golf on it, but yeah, it looks more almost like one of those kind of weird visual illusion pictures that does but anyway let's move on um so uh, this is these instructions are really annoying because they're multiple language which is fair enough but there's just like one panel on each page that's the english language and then everything else is all the other languages so it's literally just the left hand side of every other page that's got something on so it's got the setup instructions i'm really going to go through this quite quickly in fact uh, let's just move on to what have we got there take control okay so that's the controls as you can see just over and over again across the page uh what else have we got getting started you can select a mode so there's one or two play mode and there's also a practice mode um and then it goes on to the controls of how to play the game oh it's it's horrible I'm, i can't be bothered so <laughs> i'm just gonna okay uh yeah so what's it say that's about the status bar um Eventually you get to a bit that's about the sort of hazards you can encounter. This is what I wanted to show. So you've got water, uh, out of bounds, a stationary bar, a control bar, a treadmill, uh, and it's got some little images of them on the page as well in various places. Uh, do they go on as the more? Yeah, you've got uh, switches, standing bridges, moving bridges, warps. Uh, so you can see it's obviously a bit more than just crazy golf. There's, there's things you can interact with. Uh, and then he goes on to tell you about the different game modes. So you get the idea. It's quite annoying to flick through in this uh, context, looking at it through a video camera lens and everything. So I'm just going to get on with it and play the game and explain how it works when I fire it up. Here's the title screen for the game then. Very colourful and jolly music in the background as well. Uh, not much in the way of options. You just press the start button. As you can see, it's cycling through various little clips of the different holes that you can play in the game and it's also got loads of golf balls scrolling along in the background as well so let's press the start button which is also the one button on the master system controller and you can see there are three options there's a one player mode there's a two player mode which obviously i won't be playing and there's also a practice mode i'm going to start with that just to show some of the holes that are these i think i don't know if these are in the main selection of holes in the game or only in the practice mode but basically it gives you an introduction to the various mechanics and uh, things that are on the holes basically so as you can see it's an isometric layout of a golf course and uh, you can move this cursor around anywhere and scroll it even off the screen this is just to give you a view of the uh, the course which obviously if it fills up more than the screen you can move around and uh, if you hold down the one button while you're moving that around it moves more quickly so the first thing you have to do is choose where from the tee box you're going to tee off from 
uh, I'll just go right from the middle on this one let you do that with the two button uh, and then again you can move around as much as you like after that once you've placed the ball uh, there's no real reason to do that you press two again and you get the uh, the marker for aiming your shot and you can see the sort of a little line uh, or a dot moving that shows you where the ball's going to go so I'm just going to try and hit this straight at the uh, at the hole obviously and then once you've pressed two again once you've chosen where you're going to shoot uh, you get this display here with the power bar going up and down you just stop it at the power level you want to hit the ball at and away it goes this also shows you uh, the par for the hole uh, the number of balls you've got uh, which are basically lives when that gets down to zero then the game's over regardless of where you are in the game and also I don't know what the next means uh, yeah I'm not sure um, so uh, let's, let's, let's hit the ball and see what happens let's just hit it in a, a sort of mid-level shot and uh, it's pinged around off those two pinball bumpers gone to the edge so again you just got to line up a shot this shouldn't be too difficult from this point point. and there we go so I got that in part, it was a part two, took me two shots, job done. So if you uh, get in under par, then you get extra balls added to your total. And if you go in over par, then you get balls taken away. Obviously nothing really happened on that one. So we move to the second one. Now you can see there's a bit more, oh, I've placed the ball there. There's a bit more screen to, uh, to see there. You've got to hit it up a, a hill and then round a corner. So uh, basically I'm just going to whack it <laughs> for want of a better expression uh, as hard as I can up this hill hopefully it'll make it up there there we go it's kind of ended up not too far away so I should be able to get it on target for this one as well sometimes quite hard to get the uh, the aim lined up just right as I'm finding here that should do so hit that about like that hopefully that'll go in the hole there we go uh, what you didn't see was the back of that back edge of the course there you could fall off that into the water if the edge is flashing then it bounces off and if it's not flashing then it falls off so I did that one under par got a birdie on that hole I'll show a couple more of these practice holes they don't take me this is this one's actually worth seeing uh, so again I'll just place this in the middle and then we'll have a look around this hole so on this hole you've got a very big ramp to hit up you've got it's not actually a bunker but it slows you down it's called a treadmill in the game and a couple of bumpers as well uh, and you've also got this uh, thing halfway up the uh, up the hill and that actually works like a breakout or pong or arkanoid bat uh, so we'll have a look at that in a second so I've placed the ball so I'll do my aim uh, so I'm just gonna hit it full whack up the hill but what you'll see is it won't make it up the hill so what you can do as it comes back down is hit it again uh, and try and sort of aim it towards the top so obviously there's a bit more eventually this will stop I think there's a bit more than just golf involved here there are some other arcade mechanics obviously you can see the pinball style bumpers as well that went pretty well actually I'm gonna have to go over the edge of this um, this little bunker area so I've got to hit it a little bit harder than normal but not too hard that should probably do it there we go and that was a birdie again So let's see what's next okay so again this shows you other things that will come up in the main game uh, so once again place the ball on the tee so you've got a wall you can knock down here or not a wall a bridge you can knock down a moving bridge you've obviously got to go across to get into the hole uh, falling off the edge of any of these green areas will put you in the water you've also got this strange bar sticking up that you can rebound the ball off and that's what I'm going to try and do so you can see uh, when it's showing the trail of where the dot's going that it will rebound off that so my my idea is to try and hit it over the bridge knock the bridge down and then also hit it so that it goes over the the moving bridge at the same time so I'm gonna hit it full whack when this thing comes back in a second no I'm gonna wait a little bit now because it's got to come back again it's coming this could do it no I'm gonna miss it again probably but Oh, I didn't even get over the bridge. Oh, it has gone over the bridge. Oh, 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 oh that was close. Uh, a little bit too hard in the end because of the rebound, but you get the idea. You've got multiple hazards to negotiate here. Uh, let's give it another go. Try and hit it over the um, over the bridge and over the thing here. Yeah, let's just go like that. It's probably going to be too hard. Oh, it's gone in the hole. Nice one. Birdie again. Quite Doing quite well on this practice round. It hasn't always been that way when I've been practicing. 
so is there any more to show you on this? I think we'll we'll call it a day at that point. There are other things to show, but you don't want to see all the practice holes. So we'll move on to the actual game. I'll reset the game at this point and we'll actually play a proper round. So back at the menu screen and I'm going to play the one player mode, obviously. And the way this works is that there are 18 holes to play, but it's split into three stages of six holes each. So much like the practice mode that had six holes in, you play six holes and if you get past that, you get to play the next six holes, uh, which is just like playing golf anyway, I suppose, really. But that's how it works. So as you can see right from the start, it throws you in with a bunch of different things to deal with. You've got these posts to rebound off. You've got the uh, conveyor belt thing in the middle, the treadmill, and obviously the holes at the opposite end. Uh, I don't think this is too difficult. You've just got to hit it hard so that it goes over the the motorized thing and then uh, try and get it into the hole at the other side, basically. So I'm just going to position the ball right in the center and I'm going to put it, hit it towards that post at the other end. That's my aim. Although when it goes over this treadmill thing, it will get pushed further down the screen. So perhaps I'll go a little bit off to the right. Let's hit it pretty hard, like that hard. And there we go. That's not too bad. I'm pretty close to the hole. This shouldn't be too difficult to finish off. And there we go. First hole completed. One under par. So straight away my number of balls has increased. Uh, from five to six. So you start with five balls. That's five lives basically. Once you lose all your balls, as I mentioned earlier, uh, it's game over. Uh, so we've got the similar sort of thing here, but the difference here is that that first conveyor belt thing uh, will roll the ball off the side and into the water. So you've really got to hit it on the right hand side. So I think the thing to do here is to get it as far as close to the edge of the tee box as possible to give you the, the most chance of getting it over that first section. Apart from that, I don't think there's anything too much to worry about. So uh, let's just go for it from there. So I'm going to hit it right to the far edge hope it gets over the treadmill and uh, on to the next bit basically and there we go in fact it went across both of them onto the second one and right by the hole so that's turned out quite nicely and away we go that's another hole done and they won't all be that easy I can tell you now So on to par 3, par 3, hole 3, I think it was also a par 3, um, and this is the first one with a switch, so you can see the switch there on the left hand side, and uh, there's also a pinball bumper to negotiate past, and ob obviously a, a bit of a valley there where it'll go over here, drop into the valley, and it won't get over the opposite side, uh, I don't think, uh, so I think the first thing to do is switch that. Um, what do you call it? Switch! <laughs> switch the switch off! Oh, my brain's gone. So yeah, switch the switch off first, which I'm going to do by slightly hitting into the side with a chance to hope that it'll rebound back out to where I want it to go. So I'm going to hit that full, full pelt. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to do, so that's pretty nice. I'm quite happy with that actually. Uh, so now I should just be able to hit it over this ramp with enough power that it'll get over the now stopped treadmill and onto the other side at least that's what I'm aiming for let's see what happens I don't know if it'll get any loft from going over the edge of this ramp here this hill let's find out oh it's just made it over that's nice quite happy with that as well and that's just a straight hit into the hole and away we go and that was a par, so that was a par 3, as I thought it was. So let's move on. So far so good, it's all going well. And this is where it starts to get a lot more complicated. So the tee box is behind the switch, you've got to hit the switch, there's absolutely no way you're getting over all that without hitting the switch, I don't think. One thing there is, if you look closely, it looks like this is just all going to drop off the edge, but if you look closely, there's a little bit there that's flashing and there's a little bit there that's flashing as well. So theoretically, you might be able to negotiate it past those two sections if you hit it right. Uh, I, I still think that that is probably the way to do it, really. So I'm going to give that a go uh, with that in mind. So I'm going to 
I'm going to start with a little slow hit to get it to this point and then try and hit it across this bit while it's still running. Uh, let's see what happens. So this shouldn't need much. Oh no, <laughs> I've done that the wrong way but luckily uh, I forgot. Yeah, there's the there's the pre-shot thing where you can move the play field around uh, but luckily got caught on that thing anyway so no harm done. So yeah, now my plan is to hit it full pelt this way and hope that it rolls around onto this section here with the uh, thingies on it. Thingies? You know what I mean. The the, the lack of... Oh, what am I saying? The borders. Ah, I don't know what's wrong with me on this review. I can't get my words out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, again, it's done what I wanted it to. I'm not sure what's going to happen now though because the next thing I've got to try and do is get it across this section here uh, it will roll off the edge of there into the water um, and I don't think there's any way to hit it where it, w where it won't get stuck on this thing unless I bounce it off this pinball thing so that's what I'm going to try and do here it's a bit trial and error it has to be said I might have been better off stopping them right from the start and just working my way across as uh, well as I could without these kind of crazy ideas so but anyway, that's what I'm going to do here. I keep moving the cursor there, forgetting that you then have to just position it where you want it. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe if it goes off the back of there, it might make it. I don't know. Let's, let's just hit it at this thing and see what happens. This is a par 3, which seems like this must be the only way you can get it over there on a par 3. Because I'm already on shot number 3. So... Yeah, that really didn't work. <laughs> that did not do what I wanted it to. Uh, yeah, uh, this is going to be hard. It, I think I've made a mess of this. Uh, but let's give it another go. Let's try hitting it more slowly on this side. This time. Yeah, well, no, that didn't really help at all either, did it? Um, okay. I suppose now that that pinball bump has gone, I can just hopefully roll the ball into this square no not hard enough oh dear I don't know I mean I'm already several shots over par if you get to five shots over the par it ends the hole and uh, you don't make any you don't cost you any more shots but you obviously you don't complete the hole I'm already at the point where right okay that's on there stay on there oh, okay so now all I've got to do is get it across this side and all I can do is hit and hope that it'll make it across. I'm going to give it a slight bit of side on there to try and give it a chance to roll down a little bit as it goes over. I really don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, it's done it and it's gone into the hole. And I was only four over par. Well, uh, so that's probably what you're supposed to do to complete the hole on par. You probably just need to get it onto that second square, avoid the pinball bumper completely and just hit it across. Uh, but there you go, you live and learn. But I'm still in the game. Okay, so I'm now on a much bigger hole uh, and I'm going to have to scroll around to take a look at this. So let's start by doing that. So you can see there's an area here with the conveyor belt going the opposite way to the way you want it to. There's a switch there. There's another switch after another conveyor belt treadmill thing. Then there's two more conveyor belt treadmill things here. There's a pinball bumper that can probably help you get it down to the other end there. Uh, it looks like it'll roll off the edges there if it hits those. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of things to deal with here. Uh, the first thing to do obviously is to get it over onto this treadmill and you can see that if you look closely again you might not be able to make this out but there's an area there that's okay that you could uh, ledge the ball against but there's also an area there where it'll just drop into the water so perhaps the best solution is to actually uh, switch that off uh, so we'll do that for starters place the ball there hit the switch oh oh, oh no I'm not I thought I'd hit it then keep forgetting about the extra setting I don't know why you get that really because you can scroll around before you do any of this stuff but then it you, know, you still get the option to scroll around again uh, so that, that does uh, catch me out a few times so yeah let's give this a go and see what happens oh well that might work quite well actually it's not too bad I'll take that under the circumstances this one's just going to be a straight hit so if I hit that switch again, it's going to start the treadmills again. So I really don't want to hit it. I want to hit just to the side of it, ideally, and bounce off onto the uh, area beyond there. So let's give it a go again. It's, this is going to need a full pelt hit for sure. 
this all oh, that's worked out okay again to be fair I think this holds a par 5 so now at this point I probably wouldn't mind having the, the treadmill things back on so what I'm gonna do is try and hit it just behind the switch uh, so yeah let's let's give that a go again I, I've forgotten that I, I need to move the uh, the cursor to, to line the shot up so let's go with that oh not hard enough really uh, it could have been worse but it's not great um, so I'm just gonna do a little tap into this here just to get the uh, switch switched on oh this is gonna be disastrous now because that is gonna roll all the way off the edge I think yep there it goes but the upside I have still got the uh, the switch switched on I suppose so now I can just hopefully just hit it full back over this side perhaps a bit back towards the back there let's give it a go I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for the best here that it's gonna roll down the treadmill a bit but then into the gap between the two treadmills so let's go full pelt nope that's disastrous again oh dear it's all going horribly wrong so change of plan here this time I'm just gonna roll the ball ever so very gently into the space the other side of the switch that'll do nicely now my plan is to hit it over here not hit the pinball thing but this should drag it down a little bit and slow it down and end up with it between the two treadmills hopefully oh no it's gone over oh that's a shame well that's annoying let's try that again but probably send it a bit further down like there no no it's not gone far enough oh this is very very challenging and it does get very very challenging very quickly okay so I think that's somewhere between the two maybe let's go with that but with a bit less power there we go that's what I was trying to do it's taken three shots to do it but there we go uh, I must be close to uh, the shot limit now but I think this is on target for oh no oh it's gone too hard and now it's given up so it wouldn't make any difference I wouldn't have saved any shots by uh, scoring it with that one holding it with that one anyway so yeah five over part bad news to say the least and unfortunately uh, that now means that's game over I believe it is it does yeah so ouch that was painful uh, so I'll play again uh, try and get to that point and hopefully beyond uh, without playing through the first few holes again and also talk a little bit about the sound and graphics right then so back on hole number five let's see if I can do this any better than the last time which was terrible uh, so I'm gonna follow the same approach to start with which is to try and bounce off this switch and then head down towards the rest of the hole obviously that goes without saying uh, and again that seems to have worked reasonably well now comes the hard part which is getting around all this stuff maybe it's better to just not switch the, the conveyor belts back on and just navigate over them I might try that instead this time of course I might hit them the switches by accident but so if I hit this not too hard like there maybe there we go and then from there I might be able to hit it straight across this one and past the switch and over onto the uh, treadmill area like will that miss the switch that will hit the wall that might miss the switch or it might hit it difficult I don't think it really matters too much if it hits the wall there but let's go for this one see what happens no I've hit the switch oh but I switched it off again that's not too bad yeah this is definitely an easier way to do this than I was doing it before I think oh that didn't even get off there though that's not great uh, but I've only had three or four shots up to that point so I'm not really in any danger I don't think not like the last time anyway so I just need to make sure I get this right and don't hit it too hard that's good enough it's not going to be uh, a great hole but at least I'm going to complete it this time it's just a straight hit by the looks of it in we go and only one over par as well so that wasn't too bad
So as you can see, I've got one hole left to play. I've got six balls in reserve and it's a par five. So it's going to be quite tricky, I imagine. Uh, wow, okay. So this one features some things that I showed before on the practice mode and some things that I didn't. So it's got the uh, the breakout bat. Uh, it's got a teleporter as well. So you go in the teleporter there and it comes out there. Uh, you've then got a switch, um, a big treadmill thing to go over uh, a hill, uh, up and down, and then finally you get to the hole. So to do that in five shots looks quite challenging to say the least. Uh, but I've also got an additional six shots in reserve. So maybe I'll manage it. We'll see. Let's see what happens. first thing to do is pretty obvious and it's just to hit it up this slope and then try and knock it back up with the bat oh it's coming back down again and it's gone the other side this time and it's stopped there that's not too bad I'll take that so now I'm gonna hit it into the uh, teleporter thing and out the other side it will go and it comes out the same speed it goes in so you have to know where it's going in case you're going to launch it off the side of a, a uh, area that's got uh, no walls or something like that but I mean you, again I can see there's a there's a safety net bit there I'm not sure it'll make it across this bit though so that I'm, I'm gonna have a go at just hitting it straight over I suspect this might go straight in the water and I'm gonna have to then go back and switch the switch off we shall see oh no it didn't make it okay well now I've learned that I'm just gonna go back the opposite way hit this switch and then see where it ends up okay that's not too bad from there I should be able to get it at least most of the way uh, onto the far side yep But then I've also got to get it up a hill so perhaps there's an argument for bouncing it off the back here and up the hill I think I'll just take it steady and hope I, I manage to do this in the number of shots that I'm allowed let's just go like that I don't think this will get up the hill no chance but it's left me in a pretty good position to now just hit it up the slope so it's not too bad uh, and then I've got to get it down a slope so really I want to try and hit it on this side so that it bounces off and goes down the slope the other side so that's where I'm going to aim for while I'm doing this let's talk a little bit about graphics and sound well graphics they're pretty simple I mean there's only so much you can do with a golf game really uh, they probably could be a little bit better it is the master system it's reasonably powerful uh, but also they do the job so why would you try any harder uh, the animation of the water is quite spectacularly bad everything else is okay it's just kind of fairly bland really there's nothing great to say about it oh that's worked perfectly look it's even oh it even went in, almost went in the hole oh that was so close um, but I should get it in if I can aim this right hard to do from a distance but I think that'll do it yep there we go triple bogey I mean I'll take that to be honest based on how big that hole was so yeah graphically it's pretty simple even these screens could have had a bit of work done to them to be honest so I completed the first six holes with three balls remaining uh, now you get a bonus stage and the idea is you've just got to try and you get a number of attempts to get the ball in the hole um, by bouncing it off all these posts and things uh, I'm not going to try too hard at this. I'm just going to hit it hard and see where it ends up going. Well, that's just going backwards and forwards in the same direction. So that was awful. You may get uh, bonus things for uh, hitting stuff off the uh, off the posts as well. I'm not sure. Let's try a different angle here. Let's try and send it up this way through this gap. See what happens. That wasn't very hard. Oh, it's gone in. Oh, well, now I know that. I'll be doing that again I don't I can't remember I think you get like six attempts or something like that so let's try that again exactly the same way yep okay I'm on to a winner here uh, so yeah musically or, or sonically uh, the sounds for playing shots and it bouncing off things are pretty simple as well the background music's pretty nice I mean it's quite jolly uh, it's reasonably good fun uh, it does vary 
uh, not a great deal the first six holes have all got the same music uh, there's different music on this bonus stage and I think when I get past this oh enough's enough let's just do that yeah that's gonna go differently that time but that's fine oh it's gonna go in again though wow okay so there you go I've got four in uh, so I've actually won four extra balls for the next uh, six holes which is amazing really I wasn't expecting to do that so we move on to the next hole yeah and as I said it's got different music uh, the layouts are pretty similar there's lots of bricks uh, there's no water on this one uh, and this looks pretty straightforward it's just hit it into from here into the teleporter out the other side uh, and into the hole but if I could get it to come out go into the teleporter this side and come out that means it would come out of the teleporter that side which might put me in a better position so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is try and hit it uh, against this corner I'm basically do like a pool shot against this cushion if you like onto that one and into the thing this could go really well or really badly but it's the first hole so let's give it a go I've got some margin for error so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it about there that's my plan it's going it's going it didn't go in okay well never mind I'm gonna do the same again though I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hit it really hard against this wall And back into the teleporter no it's missed again oh <laughs> terrible uh, okay this is this was not a good idea but let's let's keep it simple let's just hit it straight down the line here where's it going there it is in fact no let, let's hit it against here now is it gonna go in there we go it's come out the wrong side but at least it's in the right half of the hole now and that was me three shots for Paul uh, used up so that was a bit silly in retrospect but there we go you live and learn uh, that's pretty close I should get it in in five so I'm gonna lose a couple of shots but it doesn't really matter I'm not expecting to finish this game but there we go double bogey yeah I should have just hit it straight and just done it simply really but you know we've got to have a bit of fun with this as well haven't we so five balls left uh, and there's another par three coming up so let's hope this one's not doesn't prove as challenging as the last one just did uh, so we've got some water hazards we've got the hole uh, we've got some pinball bumpers and we've got a teleporter that we actually don't really want to go into this time because if it goes in there it's going to come out there and make it more difficult so what I want to do is hit it past the teleporter get it to this sort of area for my second shot uh, which should be possible by using the uh, tee box to my advantage if I put it this side and then hit it down the hill not that way no rebounds thank you that should do it pretty hard but not too hard oh no it's gone in the teleporter oh well that, that came out and wrapped straight back around that wasn't actually that bad in, in the end uh, I was expecting worse I have now got to however hit it to about here to get it through this gap so um, I've got to be careful with my power a little bit here um, and it is very trial and error with the power I think it takes a lot of play to learn uh, exactly how much power to, to do but I'm gonna go like that and stop 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 oh it's going to water okay so there we go I've learned that a little bit less power next time maybe there stop there we go perfect uh, I'm already past me three shots again though so this isn't gonna go on for much longer is it this game but there we go let's go try and hit it against this wall on this side a little bit that's too close to the water okay let's try that yeah that didn't really work out I wanted either but it's still gonna take another shot to get in there we go job done that's another double bogey pretty disastrous on this second set of six holes but you've probably seen enough of the game anyway I've been playing it for like 20 minutes or more so let's just get it over with uh, so par four up next hole number three par four wow okay what the hell's happening here so there's the hole there's a teleporter out there there's water hazard there's a teleporter in there another teleporter in and another one out so you've got to guess which one of the two it's going to be uh, to get through it and obviously you've also got to roll it down this massive hill to start with so yep this one's going to be fun and 
I don't see me doing this in four shots. I think I've got a couple in reserve. So this could be the end of it all really. But as I've said, you've probably seen enough anyway. It's a pretty fun golf game. I think it's a bit annoying that you have to restart right from the beginning when you run out of, of balls. It would be better to just let you play a full 18 or at least have that as an option. Um, I also think uh, having an opponent, a computer opponent to play against rather than uh, just playing on your own would be more fun as well. So there are a few things, a few ways it could be better, I feel. Where am I going here? Oh, well, actually, go on one more bounce and keep going. That's not too bad for a first shot. From here, I reckon I can get it over to those teleporters with a bit of uh, good fortune. I'm going to go for this one because I'm just going to guess that that one, because it's the closest, is going to bring me out there, which would be annoying. Um, I, I really don't know. I can't remember if I've even got this far in the game before. So let's just hit it nice and straight over there. Full pelt. That doesn't seem too bad. This is not going as badly as I thought it would. And where's it bringing me out? Yes, I was right. I knew that was going to be the furthest one away. This bit looks hard though. Got to hit it up this ramp. So I guess a big rebound off this wall here might do it. So over here. That way a bit. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's made it. Oh! Oh, that was so close. I think that would have been poor. Just a bogey, I'm amazed. I thought that was going to be the end of me for sure. Well, what's coming up next, I wonder? Okay, very big ramp again. Another teleporter. And then, oh, and then you've got to go all the way uphill as well. Yeah, I'm sure I'm not going to make it out of this one, but I said that about the last one, so we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like, considering it's a uh, Master System game released in 1992, that, that was a good start. Um, there could have been a few more options. Um, you know, maybe more than one course to choose from. I don't think it's too much, programming-wise, to... Uh, to have created the these holes i mean i best i bet there's just like a you know an algorithm that generates the holes based on various tiles so i don't feel like that would have taken a huge amount of memory this is where this one's going to get really difficult because you've got to rebound it up this hill and then hope it doesn't bounce back down again so again i'm just going to hit it full pelt and hope for the best it hasn't rolled back down so it's not going too bad so yeah, it's perhaps lacking a few options, but I do think it's quite a fun game. I am going to keep it. Um, I probably won't play it very much, but maybe when I've got a friend round who's uh, interested in these kind of games, golf games or whatever, then yeah, I can see what's happening. You've got to get it onto that ledge. Oh, I've managed to do it. What a fluke. Um, and the same thing here. You've got to get it on this ledge without it rolling back down. So this is one way you've really got to judge your, your speed right. Oh, I could just go for fun. I could just hit it against this wall and hope for the best. Let's, let's do that. No, it's coming back down, all the way back down, and back up again. Okay, so I wasn't really any worse off than when I started. Let's, let's, let's go again, just try, try and hit it up the slope. So let's go like there. Does it make it up? Yes, it does. Is it going to come back down? No, it's not. And so I've only got one more ramp to get it up, and it should be fairly easy from this point. Except I can't work out where the arrows pointing oh it's really close so it's going to rebound so okay in that case let's go over here I mean that's actually not bad I'm not sure I'm going to get this in on par but it's not far off no double bogey what was that then like a par 3 madness Oh, that was a par 5 and I did it in 7. Wow, okay. So it's definitely over after this hole for sure. If you're still watching, thanks for watching. If you've got any thoughts about this game and you ever played it, uh, then let me know what you think. I'm assuming it gets even harder after this set of holes, which I'm probably not going to get past. Uh, what is going on here? Well, actually, you've only got to get it down that ramp. So you get this right. 
and we get it to land there that's impossible you must have to do a rebound somewhere uh, okay so what I'm gonna do is try and rebound it off this edge here so let's drop the uh, ball there over this side yeah rebound off there hit it hard oh it was close and it's come back up and where's it going now back over there and down and oh yeah and up it goes no that's where it's no it's gonna bounce off again no it's stuck now and now it's gonna be really hard if I just got it round that corner in the middle there then it'd have been a different matter but yeah from here uh, this is gonna be the end of it what did I do that for that was stupid although actually it turned out all right okay I'm gonna try the whole rebound thing again then uh, I'm gonna try it like there hit it full pelt into there oh it's gone oh my god I've, I've even got it under par like two under par that was madness how is this game still going on um, I'm on to the last hole and I've got four safety shots as well and it's a par five there's a lot of luck involved in this just like real golf sometimes you just need a bit of luck for everything to go right for you um, okay so I definitely want to go down this way down to that thing I need the ball to come out of this side otherwise it's gonna go straight in the water so do I need to go that way really no no forget it let's just let's just go this way let's see what happens oh no what is happening okay down it goes that's bad news that's gone straight in the water and right back to the start okay that's not gonna work is it let's go this way need to take it very gently down the slope okay that wasn't too bad now I need to get it round this corner so again just gonna go slowly probably do a rebound there but not too hard oh that's worked not too bad as well and then and I need to go down here so I just need to hit it over this side not too hard again down it goes down it goes again there we go this third this second set of uh, of holes has gone much better than I was expecting and if you're still here you've just seen me paw another hole and I'm on to the last six I was not expecting this video to last this long I have nothing more to say and we've got another bonus stage you know what's going on with the bonus stages so I'll just skip past this uh, I'll play it and then I'll play the, the the remaining six holes as far as I can okay then so I'm on to hole number 13 of the 18 the first one of the last lot of six and I did okay in the bonus round I got it close to the hole a few times which you do get some reward for I don't think you get I think you get one ball for every two that you get close to the hole I didn't get it in the hole at all so uh, there we go so let's give this one a go quite obviously this is similar to one of those practice holes where you've got to hit it over the the bridge knock the bridge over and then hit it over the moving bridge so let's see how it goes oh I forgot to press the button <laughs> nope that was disastrous okay let's try again Of course, I don't need to hit it, not with the thing over this time, so... Oh, that was rubbish. Oh, that's not too bad though, actually. At least it's uh, in the right vicinity for the next shot. What we really need to do now is try and get this over the thing. The right amount of power. This is hard. Oh, that was close. There we go. I think that's one over. Yeah. It could have been worse. The first shot was the worst out of all those. So, yeah, I've still got seven balls left. So, uh, oh, okay, this one looks interesting. So, the uh, the moving platform is going round and round. Oh, no, it's going in a, just an L shape. 
I mean, on the face of it, this doesn't look that difficult. Just get it close-ish. Well, that was awful. That was the worst place it could have been. Oh, no. oh, it's gone over. Oh, I don't believe it. That did not look... That was isometric perspective playing a part there. That did not look like it was going to get over that at all. That was a fluke again. So we've got bridges and all that kind of stuff. There's nothing more I can say. It's golf. Um, so you know what? What I'm going to do is switch the recording off uh, until I'm down to my last few balls and then uh, we'll see how far I've managed to get because um, <laughs> I can't really can't think of anything else to say right now. So, well, that was awful. So I'm on the hole after the last one you saw and I've knocked this bridge over and now I'm trying to roll the ball down the slope over the bridge and get it to stop on the opposite side uh, and I think it's impossible. It's one thing I haven't noticed before now is seeing how the line, the, uh, the little dot moves down the slope. Uh, it's, it's not great, it's not perfect all the time so it's difficult to judge whether you're going to get it over the bridge or gonna, it's going to go one side or the other. So uh, I, yeah. I've tried this three or four times already and this is exactly what's happened. So I've tried doing it fast, I've tried doing it slow. Uh, I think this is going to be the end now. I've got a couple of shots left I think before uh, I run out but yeah I mean I just don't know how I'm going to get it across there. From the position I'm in perhaps, perhaps the best option is oh, just to hit it really slowly like there first. Let's try that. See if that gives me any better opportunity but this is definitely going to be it this time. Uh, I'm a hundred percent sure of that. So hit it hard. It's gone back up and gone back down again, and up and down. <laughs> okay, well I've got it to where I want it to be. Let's have a look at the rest of the hole. So there's also go up and over this thing, or try and knock it over the bridge this side. So I think at this point I'm just gonna hit it down this way and is there any point trying to put an angle on it not really let's just go like that oh that's right back where it started okay and there we go that's i've run out of shots uh, i've got no balls in reserve to make up for those five over so that's definitely it uh, so yeah i got a lot further than i was expecting to seen about six holes i've never seen before at least possibly more than that uh, and yeah it was all right it's quite a fun game probably one that's better with two players it would be better if you didn't have to now play through all the preceding holes to get to the last few and actually finish your round so there's definitely some ways it could be improved but overall not a bad game one i'll keep for the time being at least as i don't have a lot of master system games anyway so i may as well have that in the collection uh, if you've got any thoughts about it then let me know in the comments as i've already said once during this epically long video so thanks very much for watching that brings another game review to an end then, and you know the drill by now, it's time to pick another game out from my selection at random to see what we play next time. And coming out of the tin this time around is... something I can't get open, here we go. It is a Mega Drive game, so moving from the Master System to the Mega Drive game, it's Wiz and Liz, the Frantic Rabbit Rescue. So that's what I'll be playing next time around. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.